genuinely sorry to see them go. Sweet Lucille then said to Millie, Now you better go scoot on your new blue scooter, then snooze a nice little kitty cat nap with cuddlesome cuddle me coo. Then help me hang and clip the fresh laundry to the strung up line. Then maybe create a bounty of bubbles by playing with soap in a tub of water. Then take a bath and wipe yourself off. We'll soon have some dinner complete with scones and that cobbler dessert we all like so much. Then we'll get ready. We'll all get ready for Betty Bye, Lullaby, Betty Bye Bed. By undressing, then dressing in our plush pajamas, then brushing our teeth and your teddy bear's teeth. And then we'll all hop in, drop off, and driftily, iftily, iftily dream of waltzing Matilda dolls. To all this, Millicent said, I'm sure I will, dear mom and dad, do and do and run and fiddle, just as you say, twiddle and bathe and eat and such. But first, I'd like to, oh my, ooh, she bent down to pick up a blackened screw. At that point, Millie's dad, named Andrew, felt compelled to say again, now look, my Millicent McGaffin tweet, not everything can be magnificent. I mean magnifa o if a o if a a chew. I mean magnifa splendoriferu. Millie's mother, named Lucille, sat down on a bench and patted the place beside her. Sit down, Millie, our Miss Millicent. We must convince you of something about this magnificent word of yours, magnificent. And Millie sat down, wonderingly. Lucille continued and felt compelled to say, Let's see, let's see, how to start. Okay, you must discriminate. Comprende? Eh? Let's see. Hmm. Not everything is, or can be, or could be, magnifically, ifily, ificent. I mean, it isn't, it just couldn't be, triply is not possible. See? Uh-uh, said Miss Millicent. Hmm, said Lucille. So Andrew continued the reasoning. Darling, some things are really good while others are only barely good, or fairly good, really only very or pretty good, while others are only fair, or plain, or passable, or barely satisfactory, or not so bad, or poor, or rather poor, or not so fine at all, or fathomlessly foul, or better than most. You see? Millie? Logically, a whole established hierarchy. Uh uh, said Millicent. Hmm, said Andrew. So Lucille continued the reasoning. Let's see, let's see how to continue. Hmm. Some things are better than some, yes, but others are just just plain okay. And while some things are on the up and up, other things are rarely good. Now, even though both her parents were smiling, Millicent started feeling very odd, to the point of being utterly confused and rather discombobbed. Then she said, Well, I'm sure I will, dear Mom and Dad, think about all that and that, and think about it more so, too. But first, I'd like to... Oh, my! Ooh! She saw an inchworm creeping! Now Lucille and Andrew looked at the worm, looked at each other, then looked at the worm, then lastly looked at their dearest daughter named Millicent McGaffentweet. And when their Millie was done with that udden say sudden fascination... They watched her pull one of her hair curls out to the side and let it sproing. 